interrupting replays of uh, the descent uh, of the uh, Soyuz spacecraft. This uh, taken from uh, one of the search and recovery helicopters in close proximity uh, to the vehicle as it descended uh, under its parachute. Again, this is a replay of uh, the landing, uh, the descent of the Soyuz TMA-19M spacecraft and its landing in south-central Kazakhstan, landing occurring 45 minutes ago. Once uh, it uh, touched down, the Soyuz was pulled onto its side, uh, but the crew was quickly extracted and placed uh, in uh, comfortable chairs uh, nearby the uh, descent module before being carried into the inflatable medical tent nearby. those of you uh, watching uh, on NASA television, this is a replay of uh, the uh, descent of the Soyuz TMA-19M spacecraft with Tim Copra, Tim Peake, and Yuri Malenchenko on board as a shot uh, from one of the uh, forward-placing search and recovery helicopters uh, that flew nearby the Soyuz during the final phase of its descent from orbit, landing occurring at 4.15 a.m. Central Time, 3.15 p.m. at the landing site in Kazakhstan.
should get a good view of those soft landing engines firing just a second or two from now. And there it was at uh, 4.15 a.m. Central Time, 3.15 p.m. Kazakhstan time, uh, the Soyuz soft landing engines firing just a few feet off the ground with the uh, three crew members, Copra Peak and Malenchenko, back on Earth after 186 days. I guess they feed the well. And back uh, to a replay of uh, the uh, initial moments following the landing of uh, the Soyuz spacecraft. That smoke uh, is commonplace uh, from the soft landing engines that fire uh, from the base of the Soyuz vehicle. And now uh, you're, we're fast forwarding and you're looking at uh, the initial uh, members of the search and recovery forces. Uh, the team uh, that initially makes its way to the spacecraft to begin the process of uh, safing the vehicle, opening the hatch, and extracting the crew. Good view of the parachute, and uh, you can hear in the background uh, the uh, Russian Mi-8 helicopters landing in sequential fashion uh, around uh, the perimeter of the landing zone. One and two. We'll stop a little more. The uh, spacecraft is rolled into an orientation that provides them access uh, to the hatchway so that uh, they can use a special tool to uh, open the hatch Help us guys. and uh, remove the crew. Malenchenko uh, in the center seat uh, was uh, extracted first, followed by Peak. Tim Copra uh, was third in line. Okay, spread out a little bit, a little wider. I already put it together, it's ready. Come on, the hatch. Ready? Uh, report on your health. Uh, Yuri Ivanovich, please report on the health of the crew. Yuri Ivanovich, please prepare the ODF. 
for transport. Getting ready to open the hatch. This is Mission Control Houston. Once again, you're looking at replays uh, of the uh, landing and the early post-landing activities uh, following the touchdown of the Soyuz TMA-19M. That occurred at uh, 4.15 a.m. Central Time almost an hour ago. Greetings. It's all good. Okay, next. It's all good. It's okay. Put him in the bag, guys. The corridor. Okay, move back, make a corridor. Okay, everyone stand up. Move away. Yuri, can you pull out the spare gloves? The spare gloves. It's inconvenient right now. Okay, that's fine. Later. It's fine. Later. Okay, take take it away. Any comments about the landing? Everything is good? Okay, let's get ready. Once again, uh, you're watching a replay of activities that occurred uh, not quite an hour ago following uh, the uh, Textbook touchdown of the Soyuz TMA-19M spacecraft southeast of Jez Kazgan, Kazakhstan. The uh, spacecraft landed at 4.15 a.m. Central Time, 3.15 p.m. Uh, local Kazakhstan time at the landing site. And uh, now as part of these replays being provided to us by Roscosmos, uh, you're watching uh, the uh, work being done by the search and recovery forces and the technical teams from RSC and Nergia uh, to extract the crew from the spacecraft's descent module. Just step away, just one step away. Okay, careful, his legs. Okay. One, three, turn him. You got him? Okay, help. Yes, help him. Okay, where is the case? I don't see where your case is.